Kettner School of Business here at Trinity University. He is an entrepreneur with a wealth of experience and knowledge from his days starting and building a successful business that grew to 75 employees with several million dollars in sales per year and has a passion for Northeast Indiana and for the developing of ideas and inventions of local entrepreneurs. With that, I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Scott Ferguson. If you notice from my bio, I am the Dean of the Kettner School of Business. The real power of what we do here at Trine is, is that we're really, when you look at it, we're actually focused more on the entrepreneurial process than most other schools, especially larger schools. The fact that we have these very small class sizes, I lived and breathed it this last spring when I taught a class on venture planning. I'm a 1992 graduate of the school and uh, I started my business in the Fort Wayne area in what's called enterprise data aggregation. I realized really where my calling was, that I wanted to be involved directly with the students, uh, the very things that they do day in and day out here. I believe that we have such an unbelievable opportunity, really an untapped opportunity, to join the work that the students do, uh, the ideas that the students have, and the economic development of student Wyoming. The other EDCs that I've noticed around the country, at least in Indiana, many of them look at this from the perspective of trying to bring business in. So they say, how much better could it be if we could find an employer that wants to bring 300 jobs into the community? And that's fantastic. I, I don't want anyone to think that I'm not for that. But quite frankly, if we work with the people that are already here, we don't need to convince them of anything. They already believe in this community. They already understand all the benefits and advantages that you have living in Steuben County. And so I say, let's not fight that. Let's not go and try to convince anybody of anything. Let's take what they already know and they already believe in their heart and let's have them develop that real enterprise right here. We have a $5,000 grant that will enable that inventor, that entrepreneur, that business owner to create that prototype or that proof of concept. The way that we're forming the venture fund that I think makes it much more appealing to the people in the community is we'll take your idea as it is. It's your idea and we'll have our own students do the research to determine whether or not it's even feasible and we can provide that research back to the community, to the business owner so that rather than just guessing about it they can know. Until we have no more empty storefronts, until we have no more empty buildings, let's go ahead and do it right here.